All right, so in previous video, we have gone, we have gone over these uh, equations with identities. And these are the same uh, steps to do that. Now we are gonna go to, okay, if I can make this. Okay. Okay. All right, so these are some examples to work on together, okay? Let me put my video over there. So our first example is cosine x, cosine squared x times tangent squared x plus one. Okay, as you may remember, tangent squared x plus one is equal to secant squared x, right? So this is equal to then cosine squared x times secant squared x, okay? And we all know that secant is actually one over cosine, right? That's why secant squared is one over cosine squared. So that's equal to, so cosine squared x times one over cosine squared x, okay? And this cosine squared and that cosine squared are cancel out, then we got just only one. So the answer is one, all right? So what we have done here is we just used one of the previous identities, the Pythagorean identities, tangent squared x plus one is equal to secant squared x. And then we just simplify that, right? And secant is one over cosine. We simplify that and they get the answer, okay? All right, now let's go to the next example. Let's go to the next example. One minus sine squared times one plus sine squared is equal to cosine squared. Okay, so what are we gonna do here is, first of all, if you look at here, one minus sine and one plus sine, this, uh, this, is, a, this, is, a reminding, this is reminding an algebraic formula, right? Uh, difference of squares formula. Let me remind you that formula here. A minus B times A plus B is equal to A squared minus B squared, right? And if you look at here in this context, uh, A is one and B is sine, right? A one minus sine plus one plus times one plus sine. So one minus sine plus one plus sine is then A squared, so one squared, one squared minus sine squared, right, x. So, of course, one squared is one. One minus sine squared, x. And what is one minus sine squared? This is the, we are gonna use the most famous trig, trig identity, right? Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. So let me remind you that here. So sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one, right? This is coming from the previous page. If this is case, this, this is the case. If I move sine squared x to the right side, what do we get? One minus sine squared, right? So one minus sine squared will be, is equal, will be equal to cosine squared x. So I'm just verifying this identity, right? So one minus sine plus times one plus sine is equal to cosine squared x, all right? So for the verification problems, if, if it says verify the identity, we just need to show that the left-hand side is equal to right-hand side or right-hand side is equal to left-hand side, okay? All right, now let's move to the next example. Verify the identity, secant x sine x is equal to tangent x. Okay, so uh, again, what? Okay, one of the most one of the most important trick in uh, this type of problem is the problem is we can rewrite secant. And we can rewrite all everything, right, in terms of sine and cosine. Let's start from the secant part. Okay, what is secant equal to? Secant is equal to one over cosine, right? If it is starting with s, 
second is starting with S, right? So it's reciprocal will be starting with C then. So secant is one over cosine. So one over cosine X times sine X. And of course, what it is equal to? Sine times one is one, sine, sorry. Sine X over cosine X, right? Cool. So, but sine X over cosine X is already, right? We know that this ratio is equal to tangent X. That's why the left hand side, maybe I can also write that part here. So, secant X sine X is equal to, so I, I just rewrote secant as one over cosine, right? One over cosine X sine X sine over cosine, which is equal to tangent X. Okay. So we verified the identity again. All right. Now let's look at this example. Cosecant negative X. Okay, there is negative inside parentheses, right? So is cosecant eating minus or not? That negative sign or not? Is cosecant a hungry function? Cosecant is not hungry function, right? The only hungry functions are cosine and secant. And secant is hungry again because secant is equal to one over cosine. So cosecant will not eat minus. That's why we are going to take out that minus, okay? So that whole thing is actually equal to minus cosecant x tangent x, okay? All right. So that minus here is getting out, pulling uh, cosecant is taking this minus out and putting it in front, okay? And now, uh, again, try to rewrite this function with respect to sine and cosine and see what's happening, okay? So that's actually equal to uh, negative, and cosecant is, cosecant is starting with C, right? So its reciprocal identity will be, cosecant is equal to one over sine, the one, the one that starts with S. Negative one over sine X times, and tangent X is equal to uh, sine over cosine, right? Sine X over, cosine x. Now I can simplify those sine, two signs, right? So what do we get here at the end? Negative one over cosine x. And wait, one over cosine x, right? We already know what is what, what one, over one over cosine x is, right? One over cosine x is equal to secant x. Again, it's starting with, cosine is starting with uh, c. So it's reciprocal identity will be starting with s, right? So that's actually equal to minus secant x, which is exactly the right side of the equal sign, right? That's why the left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. Again, to verify identity, you just need to show left is equal to right, okay? All right. Let's continue. Next, go on to the next 